Hey folks, weekend edition of the P&D Homestead Update. Not going to be anywhere near as long as last week's. Uh, Dawn's currently not here. She'll be coming home today. She had some medical issues, so... I've been batching it since Tuesday, and well, I gotta straighten up the place now. Anywho, this edition had a light up there, remember? Kept bashing my head on it. Well, I took it down, and I moved that cable over there. I'm putting up a new light. What I've got here is a new light fixture and it's supposed to be, well, bright as daylight and it's a little bit of an overkill for my hen house but, well, for one it'll make it easier getting them in the hen house evenings now and for two, I want to keep stimulating that uh, egg production through the winter it's a, uh, yeah, LED vapor proof fixture. It's four foot long. It, it's a really good light. And I'm betting it's very expensive. I don't know. It didn't cost me anything. One of my customers handed me a brochure and asked me if I could use anything, any of these products, these lighting products on the farm. I said, yeah, you know, I got with him about a week later and told him, yeah, mention this one. The only disappointment is I don't have the mounting clips, but that's okay because I drilled through there, 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 and there and I can just put it right up against the stud I'm not worried about it and I'm using galvanized screws so even better as soon as I get this mounted to the rafter I'm going to put these covers back on one there and well the other one goes there Those are the screws to hold those on. And then those are the clips that hold this on. Once I clip this to that. I took the old wire that and that should be long enough. Maybe I might have to twist around a rafter once. Or, well. Not a rafter, but you know what I mean. Anywho, <laughs> ceiling joists. Wow, this has been a long week. Anyways, we'll clip that back on. After it's mounted. And we'll give it a test run see how she goes by the way the price was outstanding free the guy ordered it for me as a sample let you know how I feel about this like again I wanna convince the ladies that it's summer all year round Okay, so here's what we got so f so far. Uh, that's got a way where I can run electrical off that end. I taped off separately all those wires. We're going to keep that around just in case. 
and I only ended up using four screws on this instead of the six it's uh, not going anywhere right now I've got to put the covers over those wires and those wires then I can attach the light see you in a bit got the wire ends covered now to clip on the light and give it a well that's what the light looks like I'm not banging my head but it's not working look at this in a little bit see if I can figure out what the hell I did wrong hey folks a little more update on the homestead I thought I'd show you the layout of the property Over here to the east part of the property well we got three apple trees that one didn't survive last summer just too damn dry some point I'm gonna to have to level that thing off and then rework it just not enough hours in the day right now this spring-fed pond is on the east end of our property Over here, well, it's really overgrown, but there's a little stream down in there that it trickles off of and goes to the south end of our property and feeds into the Sugar River. the chickens back across the road no I think they're just in the brush right there no yep they're just the other side of the brush Anywho, this is where the ladies have been digging and tilling and eating off weeds. Here's some of the new ladies. This here is our little branch. comes off the Sugar River this is our southern property boundary the thing I'm gonna burn
and over here on this on the west side of the property well gotta see if the fire department wants to do a voluntary burn practice burn the volunteers they're blooming and producing hope we get some rain soon and then we've got my spot where Beaver Brook hits the main river And that goes all the way up to the north end of the property and of course our front yard is not a front yard it's more like a door yard I can fit the vehicle in I did that to bring Dawn home from knee surgery and her latest surgery Tonight I'm going to make some cheeseburgers and I can't see it in the viewfinder but I've got a few nice sized green tomatoes I'm going to fry up in a cast iron frying pan and See a tomato I gotta get rid of. I definitely don't want that. Throw it over into the bank. If it grows, so be it. If it don't, it don't. Left some out here want them to finish vine ripening cabbage the broccoli well not quite yet I don't remember what we planted in here. We do have some lettuce. We got some celery and carrots. That's pretty much everything. Could not get this light to work and then found out that there is a controller that's supposed to be with it. Well, it was marked on the box not included, so I think I need to install the controller inside in order to get the lights to light. Everything's wired up right, so that's all I can think of. Hello, Mama. Let me see under you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Good sized egg. That's a jumbo. I think after what I've seen. Performance of the uh, performance of the uh, (sighs) 
buff Orpingtons. I'm gonna let those lay and well I'm gonna have to learn how to size eggs because those are more of a medium I'm thinking I'm gonna keep the reds for the New Hampshire reds for egg producing and I'll pick up 25 males next spring probably in June and uh, that'll be our meat birds it's a live and learn thing here at the homestead anyways Peace out.